In this video, we will learn to hack a WordPress website. We will first bypass the WordPress login screen, then gain access to the server using reverse shell, and finally take full control of the system by being the root user. This is the all-in-one CTF challenge from TryHackMe. This video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to hack a WordPress website for CTF challenge. So let's get started. So I'm in my Kelly Linux right now, and we will solve the all-in-one challenge. I have already started my machine and got my target IP address. Now there are a few intended paths to solve this challenge. Let's see how we can solve this. So the first thing I will do is copy my target IP address, open my terminal and do a nmap scan with the command sudo nmap. I will do an aggressive scan with dash a and paste my target IP address. After the scanning is completed, I can see port 21 FTP is open and anonymous FTP login is allowed. I can also see port 22 SSH is open and port 80 HTTP is open. So since the anonymous login is allowed, so first let's connect to FTP and see if we can find something interesting. So I'll type FTP space, paste my target IP address and the username, I will type anonymous and I do not have to specify a password since anonymous login is allowed and press enter and now I'm successfully logged into FTP. If I type LS, I can see nothing exists. Let's check if there are hidden directories and files. So nothing exists. I'll get out of FTP. Since we saw port 80 HTTP is open, I can see which website is running by opening another tab and pasting my IP address. So there is a default Apache web server running. If I check the page source, I do not get much information. So we can check if there are any hidden directories or files inside this website. So I'll copy the URL in my terminal, type gobuster dir for directories, dash u for URL and paste my URL. And I will specify my word list with dash w and the path to my word list. Now GoBuster has started scanning. By the way, if you're doing a CTF challenge, it is important that you're comfortable with the terminal commands of Kali Linux. So if you want a free Kali Linux cheat sheet, then click the first link in the description box and you will get this Kali Linux cheat sheet with the most commonly used commands. It is beginner friendly and super easy to understand. So click the first link in the description box to get this cheat sheet. After the scanning is completed, I can see GoBuster was able to find two directories. Server status is not important. So first, if I go to the WordPress directory, I can see I have a website that is running on WordPress. Now I can scan the vulnerabilities of this website with WP scan. But before I do that, I have one more directory, which is hackathons. So I'll copy the path and add it to my URL. And this directory just says, damn how much I hate the smell of vinegar. So I'm not sure if this is a hint. If I check the page source, I can see two comments. So the word vinegar could be a hint that this comment is encrypted in Vigineer cipher. So if I open Google and type Vigineer cipher decoder and go to any of this online decoder and first copy this string and paste it and then copy the key and paste it and click on decode. I can see my string has been decoded and it says try hack me with the at mark symbol. So this information could be helpful later. I'll save this information somewhere. Now let's again go to our WordPress directory. Now I can again use GoBuster with this URL to find which directories exist. So I'll copy this and use GoBuster dir for directories dash u for URL and paste the URL space dash w for word list and write the full path to my word list while the gobuster is running i'll open another tab and scan for wordpress vulnerabilities with wp scan if you do not know what wp scan is it is a wordpress vulnerability scanner and scan my url with dash dash url and paste my url and i want to enumerate the users the vulnerable plugins and the vulnerable themes and press enter after the scanning is completed I get to see some interesting findings like we can reach the upload directory the exact wordpress version that is running we also get to see which wordpress theme this website is running it is 2020 we can check to see if this theme is vulnerable to any exploit if i scroll more down i can see wp scan was able to identify a user it is eliana if i check my gobuster output i get to see three directories including the wp admin directory so if i copy the path and add it to my URL. I get the WordPress login page. So we know that the username is Ilyana. So I'll copy the name 
and paste it and for the password it could be the cipher that we decoded earlier so i'll copy this and paste it as the password and click on login so the password did not work if i remove this part because it has a space and click on login we were able to successfully log in now i can see the wordpress dashboard from here there are a few different ways to gain a reverse shell suppose if i click on appearance and click on theme editor in this page the wordpress theme is edited with this code we can remove all this code and add our reverse shell so i'll go to google and search for php reverse shell click on the first link of github by pentest monkey click on the .php file and here we get the reverse shell so i'll copy the code and in here and we have to change only two fields the ip field and the port so i'll check my ip with the command ip space a and i can confirm this is my ip so i'll copy this and edit here i'm fine with the port 1234 and set up my netcat listener with the command nc space dash lvp and the port which is 1234 and click on update file next i'll copy my reverse shell and go to theme functions remove all the codes of theme function and paste my reverse shell under documentation i will select 2020 script loader and click on update file now if i check my netcat listener i can see we have the shell if i type who am i i can see i'm logged in as this user i'll first change to the home directory inside the home directory i can see the user eliana i'll change to this user's directory Inside this directory, I get two files, hint.txt and user.txt. If I cat user.txt, of course the permission is denied. If I cat hint.txt, it says Eliana's user password is hidden in the system and we have to find it. So we can use the command find from the root directory. Since I'm searching for a file, I'll specify it by typing dash type f for file and search for files which is owned by Eliana. So I'll specify it by typing dash user Eliana and I will redirect the error to the devnull file. Now I can see a list of all the files that is owned by Eliana. What is interesting to me is the private.txt file. So if I copy this on cat in double quotation, paste the full path and we have the username and the password. Now I can SSH as the user Eliana. So in another tab SSH Eliana at the rate Paste the target IP address. Are you sure you want to continue connecting? Yes. And when asked for a password, I'll copy this password and paste it. And we can now successfully log in as the user Eliana. If I type ls and now try to read the file user.txt, I can see I can successfully read this file. So this is the answer to our first question. I'll copy this and paste it as the answer. So we were not correct. I think this is encoded in base64 so I'll go to google and type base64 decode go to any of the link and paste my encoded string and click on decode and now we have the decoded string so I'll copy this and paste it ok so now we are correct now we have to get the flag root.txt so first if I try to change to the root directory obviously the permission is denied I'll check the list of commands I can use sudo with so sudo space dash l I can now confirm I can use the socket command with sudo and as the user Eliana so let's check if we can exploit the socket binary to escalate our privilege so I'll go to google and search for gtfo beans I'll click on the first link by gtfo beans this website contains the collection of unix binaries that can be used to bypass local security so I'll search for socket and here I can see sudo I'll click on it and copy this command, paste it in my terminal and now if I type who am I, I can see I'm logged in as the root user, I'll change to the root directory. If I type ls, I can see the root.txt file, I'll cut out this file and I got the final flag, I'll copy this, choose the base64 decoder and click on decode and this is the answer, I'll copy this and paste it as the answer and click on submit and we were correct this is how to solve the all-in-one ctf challenge from try hack me that is for the end of the video if you like this video and want to watch more content related to ethical hacking or ctf challenge please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching